So in this video, we'll be going over how to properly migrate your Fin 5.0 database to be compatible with Fin 5.1. In this example, you can see here that we're running Fin Framework 5.0.7 and the project we're going to be migrating is called J2Demo. We're going to start by stopping the Fin 5.0 service in the service manager. Next, we'll want to verify the Fin 5.0 Java heap size. For verification purposes, we're going to now go into the Fin 5.0 configuration menu and make note of the Java heap size, which is the value listed next to the maximum memory pool property field. In our case, we have our Java heap set to 1024. As a side note, it is always recommended to make a backup of your pre-existing Fin framework directory for safekeeping. Next, we're going to begin installing Fin 5.1. Locate and execute the Fin 5.1 installer to begin the installation process. If you are running an open JDK or 64-bit JVM and the option is available, make sure to enable the Run on 64-bit JVM option. During the installation, the wizard may automatically detect that you have an older version of Fin Framework installed on your device. To make the transition easier, Go ahead and select the copy settings from the ETC and VAR folders and the copy database folder options. Please note that if an older version is not detected by the wizard or in the event that you are not using the Windows installation wizard, you can always manually copy the pre-existing database folders from the 5.0 directory into the newly installed Fin 5.1 directory once it's done installing. As an extra safety precaution, be sure to uncheck the Uninstall Older Version option to ensure that the previous Fin 5.0 installation folder is retained just in case you ever need to refer back to it. Once the Fin 5.1 installation is complete, stop the newly installed service by going into your service manager. Once the service is stopped, we can now go into the Fin 5.1 configuration menu and verify that the Java heap matches the same amount that was set in the previous install. In our case, we had the previous one set to 1024 and this one matches it. Uh, please note that the reason why this new install retained that value is because we opted to copy over the database settings during the installation. If you did not use the installation wizard, you can simply change the value in this configuration window and apply the changes accordingly. Before beginning the migration, we must also set another file to read the proper Java heap value. And the file we're going to be looking for is the config.props. To do this, go into the newly installed fin 5.1 folder, go down to the etc folder, go down to the sys folder, and locate the config.props file and open it. On the last line, you will see that the value is set to the default value of 512. If your Java heap value is anything other than the default 512, make sure to replace the 512 with the correct amount. Once you're done, save and close that file. Now that the Fin 5.1 software is installed, the old database is copied over and the correct Java heap value is set, we can now begin the migration process. To reach the migration tool, go into the fin 5.1 directory, go down to the bin folder and locate the fin migrate.bat file, right click on the file and select the run as administrator option. A pop-up will appear asking you to browse for your project folder. Make sure to select the project folder that has already been copied into the new fin 5.1 directory. Once you've selected the correct project database folder, press OK to continue the migration. At that point, the migration will complete on its own, and once it is completely finished, you can then start your Fin 5.1 service and begin seamlessly using your newly migrated project. And that's all it takes to migrate your database from Fin 5.0 to Fin 5.1. Thanks for watching.